What are you making, Rosie? Um, uh, hmm. granola. Granola. We're making granola, exactly, Rosie. I uh, hope you're having a great day, Flav City family. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're at Mama Ellie's house here in Vail, Colorado. If you're following on Instagram stories, we got here a couple days ago. We're cooking up a storm every day. And Mama Ellie has a recipe for Dead Sea granola. That is one of the best I've ever mm. had. And Rose is actually gonna make all of it today. It's sweet, it's salty, it's savory, and it's super easy to make, right? Super easy, and you can adapt and adjust yes. to your needs. We're using what we have in the pantry, and it's gonna be delicious. So Rose, you ready to And speaking of pantry, I got oh, a yeah. huge Thrive Market shipment uh, two days ago, two massive boxes. And right now, my promo code is 40% off your first order. Normally it's 25% off. It's 40% uh, off your first order. Well it's a free gift and it's 30 days risk-free. So if you haven't tried Thrive Market yet, I love them because all their stuff is cheaper than the grocery store. And if you live in a place like Vail or a little remote, you can't get a lot of the stuff at like a Whole Foods or like the Trader Joe's because they don't have them around here. So if you haven't used Thrive Market, click my link down below, get your 40% off and get some of the stuff to make the Dead Sea granola. Okay, girls, okay, okay. go to it. Uh, oatmeal goes in, pour it in. Okay, we need we need two more cups, Rose. Let Avi put it in. There you go, good This girl. is probably the best oats on the market. It's the yeah. organic sprouted glyphosate-free oats. There you go. From uh, one degree. Okay, okay, we got the oats in. Now, Rose, <laughs> what are we putting in? What's that, Roseanne? Coconut sugar. Coconut Coke. sugar. Here, you hold it and you put it in. What did you Okay, next ingredient, flax seeds. I like that a lot. Fiber rich. Mm-hmm. Flax seeds. Rose's cooking skills the last five days. I don't know what happened. They've taken off to the next level. It's crazy. Those are walnuts. Lots of good vitamins and nutrients. Yes, a little more walnuts. We love walnuts. Who sent us walnuts in the mail? Right? Baba Dani sends us walnuts from Bulgaria Ooh. from her garden. They're unbelievable. That's unbelievable. Yes, that is so good. And then, Rose, sliced almonds. Mm-hmm. Yum. Now, Rose, this is our special is spice mixture. <gasps> now, we get this. What's it smell like, Rosie? Mm. Um, coconut sugar. <laughs> <laughs> Everything smells like coconut sugar. Okay, now. What's the secret ingredient in that spice rub, though? Uh, Chinese five spice. Yes. And it's got anise in it. So yes. what we're going to do, now we're going to massage it. Yep, but keep getting dirty. You're going to mix it like my Rose, Monday. here. Put your hand. we got to show it some love. Yeah. Now, Rose, while you're mixing, Avi's going to throw in, I'm going to drizzle in the coconut uh Oil. Okay, keep. Uh, you want to do it? Okay, go, 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 go. Good. That's the virgin coconut oil. The aroma from that spice rub. Ooh. The Chinese five spice is really good. So that's where the savory comes in mm -hmm. with the sweet from the coconut sugar and then a really good amount of flaky sea salt. Okay. That's good. Now we're going to put some ghee in. Ooh, melted ghee. Mm -hmm. Look at the color of that. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Now, <laughs> now, Rose. Ooh, doesn't that look good? Now take your wooden spoon and let's just. Let's just kind of mix it a little bit, okay? And we use this big wooden bowl because this wooden bowl is full of love and that's what you do when you cook. Everything in Mama Ellie's kitchen is big. Where's that paddle? Oh, the paddle is right oh, here. <laughs> I'll show you this paddle we used to make Bosnian pork stew last night. It uh -huh. was hilarious. Yes, yes, and everybody wants to buy one and <laughs> we're going, okay, so <laughs> what do we do? Go out and carve? We're gonna go have we're gonna, uh, we're gonna create some, some wood cutter yes. here in Vail, make us one. Okay, this is great, Rose. Now. Now, Rose, we're going to use our hands I'll take that, because Rose. your hands bring in the love. So bring it and let's work it all into the oats. Do it like this. Look, look what Avi's doing. Ooh, smash it into it. Yeah, you're like smashing yeah. it into the oats. And you can say, I'm putting love into the oatmeal. Yes, Avi. Yeah, say love oatmeal. <laughs> yeah. Avi's preheating at 300 Fahrenheit, by the mm -hmm. way. It is. And this will just toast a little bit. And then Can wait till Jingle Bell song? Well, we'll play Jingle Bells when it goes in the oven. Yeah. Cut, 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 cut. Okay, now we're going to put it, since this is a big head. Oh, yeah. Oh, like so, goggles? Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> since this is big and heavy, okay, you want to get the other, out, yeah, right. smooth that out. The other one, Bobby. Good. I'll Good. Switch. Perfect, yeah. Rosie. So, just parchment paper on cookie sheets. And then we're gonna double handed. Look at Rosie. Yeah. Multitasker here. There we go. 
And the more you use a big wooden bowl like this, the yes. better totally it is. Totally agree. Yes. Okay, Rosie. Good. Okay. Well, she, clap your hands again. Clap, 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 clap. Okay. And I think. Paper towel. Paper towel, yes, chef. Mm -hmm. Hold I, your I don't horses. cook anymore, brother. I'm, I'm Rose's assistant these days. Hold your horses. Okay. See? Yeah. For how long, Mom Ellie? Uh, we're going to put it in for 30 minutes. Set a timer for 30 minutes, Rose. Mm -hmm. I'm scooping the avocado, yeah. In case you guys don't know, uh, Rose's kids' books dropped a few weeks ago. Uh, it's the first two books in the series of The Tasty Adventures of Rose Honey. It was a family affair. Uh, Desi's brother did all the illustrations in Bulgaria. He's a great artist. And then uh, Desi, mm. me, and Rose wrote the manuscript. And it's really fun. It follows Rose in her journey making a recipe, learning about the ingredients. And then at the end of the first two books is the recipe. Right, Rose? Yeah. and a QR code and you can scan it. So I'll put the Amazon links down below. Uh, I think you guys are gonna love it and there's more books coming in the near future. Rose, show them your book. Okay. I, I wish we had smell vision right now because the smell of the spices and everything is amazing. So what are we doing now, Mommy? Okay, so this is really hot, hot and this food. is a critical oh. step in making Dead Sea granola is to put it in a big bowl right after oh. it comes out of the oh. oven. Hold on, hold on Rose, oh it it's smells hot. so good. And then Rose is going to add the coconut, unsweetened coconut, and all of the dried fruit. There you go, sweetheart. There you go, Rose. Put the coconut in. You want to do this while it's hot, right? Yes, you do this while it's hot. Yeah. So go, you infuse. Take a handful and put it in there. Yeah. Sweet. You want to dump the whole thing? thing. Yeah. There you go. Boss. Let's see here. Let my mouth. Okay, so you can use any kinds of dried fruits you want. We've got dates, apricots, uh, tart cherries, but the last crowning touch to this great Dead Sea granola is flake sea salt. Like crispy, crunchy, yes. flaky yeah, salt. Yeah, yeah, you got the like flake. Like a Malden would be nice, yes. or this artisan one here. Yeah. Ooh, okay, yeah, just shake it all around. There you go. Okay, and these are nice little flakes. Oh, yes. So and salty? Then, salty. Sweet. Mm -hmm. Chewy. And then savory. Mm -hmm. uh, savory. And then you're going to store this. It'll last a couple of months stored in airtight containers, or you can freeze it. I'm, I'm going to show the container. There. There. Okay. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> this is what we used last night for the Bosnian stew, which is amazing. If you want to make it, I'll put the link down below on Ali's blog. Also known as a canoe paddle, if you want, or if, you know, Bobby's misbehaving. Could be a little paddle for him. But this is cool. I like to put it in while it's still warm and put the lid on. Oh, and really? It's just, yeah. Interesting. And it's almost like it vacuum packs it. So, uh, yeah. So that's what we're going to do is just put it in here. It's just warm to the touch. No, the so all the recipes will live on Allie's blog. I'll put the links down below. This video is coming out in a couple days. Follow uh, Flav City on Instagram, and then I'll tag Allie there. We're doing a ton of cooking for... Uh, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day. We're here in Edwards, Colorado. The Eagle River is literally right back there. It's half Ooh. frozen. The Arrowhead Mountains right over there. Uh, we're having a great time. So uh, hope you guys are having a great holiday season. For Mama Ali, Rose Honey, <gasps> Desi, her husband, shake it, Ben. Shake it, shake it. We leave you like we always do. Hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace. Love and peace. Later, guys.